each a step And I come here هيدي مشاهدينا كانت لقطات لضيفنا اليوم بفكرة ميسيو غورمي هو أحد أشهر الشيفز بمدينة بريزبن الأسترالية مرحب ببن ويليامسون هلو بن pleasure to have you thank you وهلا ميشيل فرناني ميسيو غورمي بزيت وراح يخبرنا تفاصيل أكثر bonjour hola صباح الخير بمان وميسيو غورمي عم بيسافر بتير بلاد ولكن بعد مرة على أستراليا حبينا نجيب أستراليا على لبنان على الام تي في مع استوديو الايف تحديدا اكزاكتلي سو شيف بان اللي عمل كان جيست شيف بماستر شيف معنا حبينا اليوم نحكي شوي عن الاستراليان كوزين وتراديشن وكل شيء في شيء طيب باستراليا نعم هلا بان جاي على لبنان بمهمه اذا بدك عم بيصوروا دوكيومنتري برنامج وثائقي عن الاكل اللبناني عامه حتى صحيح. يرجع ينعرض باستراليا صحيح شيف بان قاعد اسبوعين تقريبا بلبنان عم بيعمل جوله بكل لبنان عم بيصوروا عم بيعملوا دوكيومنتري اللي كمان كثير مهم نسبة للبنان نسبة لصورة لبنان باستراليا رح نشوف كل الاشياء الطيبه اللي لبنان بينتجها كل الشيء الطيب اللي بنحب نذوقها للعالم. خلينا نسال لبن شو اللي جذبه لهالمشروع. بن ذيس ازنت يور فيرست تايم ان لبنان، اتس يور سكند تايم. اتس ماي سكند تايم، اتس هير اباوت 8 ييرز اجو. اوكي. ان وينتر وينت سكيينغ ان فرايا. ناو يور هير ان ذا سمر، ديفرنت سيزون. ديفرنت اتموسفير. يو ليف ان بريزبن، اند يور ون اوف ذا موست ويل نون شيفز ان ذات اريا، يو بارتيسيبيتد ان ذا ماستر شيف شو ان استراليا، ويتش از ايم شور ا فيري انترستينغ اكسبيرينس فور يو. اتس ا لوت اوف فان، يا، ريلي ريلي جود، سو. Just an amazing experience to be part of. And you're here in Lebanon uh, to do a documentary on Lebanese food in general? Yeah, so we're walking around, we're doing a tour of Lebanon, so we're looking at culture, food, mm -hmm. everything, the way it all ties together and the way it works. What attracted you to this project? What makes an Australian interested in such a topic? Um, well, I guess the food that we do in the restaurant in, in uh, Brisbane, we have a Middle Eastern accent to the food that we do. Um, it's not specifically Lebanese, it's from all mm -hmm. over. And my, uh, the business partners that I have in the, in the business, we, uh, they're Lebanese of origin. So okay. we're kind of bringing it all full circle, bringing it back to where it all came from. And uh, yeah, that's the idea. الشركاء اللي بيشتغل معهم بان ببريزبن هن من اصل لبناني فهيدي من الاسباب اللي خلته يتحمس انه يجي على لبنان كمان مره حتى ينقل الصوره الحقيقيه اذا بدكم عن ثقافه لبنان حضاره لبنان والاهم اكيد ماكولات لبنان على استراليا، شو رح نشوف هلا ميشيل؟ رح تشوف فيديو عن استراليا وعن شيف بان باستراليا. So much happening at the moment, it's an exciting time to be here. So why don't you go get dressed, say cheap, I want Whenever I've got visitors in town, I want to take them out. Goma here is somewhere where we'll always go. It's on the riverfront, you know, and Brisbane's that city that is so good at using the riverfront. Restaurants for me is the way I tie it all together. Food is definitely the best way to connect with the people of the place. That's what excites me the most about this city. Something like this is really cool, the way these guys do a new take on breakfast, I think it's really awesome. It's not quite sweet, it's not quite savoury either. They've just nailed the balance of it. Food and culture I think are going hand in hand in this city, I think it really works. Longtime's great, there's, there's nowhere else I would want to go on the weekends with my friends. And they're taking Thai food and they're taking it to another level. Aker here, which is a new place to just open up, this is somewhere that I'd want to come for a really nice, sophisticated nightcap. Whatever your preconceived ideas of what Brisbane is, cast them aside because what Brisbane is today is not what it will be tomorrow. That's pretty unstoppable, I think. Very nice. Uh, ben, are there uh, any similarities between uh, Australian food and Lebanese food? Yeah, totally. I mean, Australian food, by definition, is, um, you know, there's a few iconic things. You know, you have the best things. meat, so we're all yeah, of we're eating we do. Yeah, it's, meat uh... from Australia now in Lebanon. <laughs> Well, even in Australia, you know, meat is such a—it's a big thing. It's mm -hmm. um, iconic and and such great quality. But I mean, the beautiful thing about Australia is it's such a clash of cultures. Mm -hmm. You know, it's such a new country, and there's so many different cultures mm -hmm. and so many different things it's that are being applauded. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's the most uh, familiar Lebanese dish in Australia? Oh, uh, that's a really difficult question. Should I would say, look, hummus, hummus is hummus. so well known. Yeah. And it's Tabouli, international, wherever we go, Absolutely, hummus. Yeah. And everybody has their own special touch that they add to it. They do. And then it almost achieves a cult following mm. in some but places. But it tastes best here. 
اوف كورس اتس هايس بيرسيا شو عنا هلا ميشيل؟ لكن من الحمص باستراليا خلينا نحكي شوي عن استراليا، استراليا هي اكيد الاساس الاوريجن هي كل شيء من الانجليز اللي جايبوا كل التراديشنز معهم مع اللحمه مع الباربيكيو ولكن بعدين صار في كثير ميكستشر، اجوا تاليين صار في هلا ايجن كوميونيتي كثير كبيره، سو رح نطلع هلا على الصور رح نطلب من بان يعمل لنا هيك يعطينا شوي كومنتس تعليق عن عن كل صورة ما في داعي تعليق على هيدي مش لما نحكي وين وي توك اباوت استراليا بان وي توك اباوت ميت، ذيس از تيبيكال يو هاف سم اوف ذا فيري بيست ميت ان ذا وورد اند ويل يس What we can say about uh, those uh, pics here also, we have a picture about a barbecue, about it's a lifestyle, I, I would say. Yeah. Wow, this Seafood is tuna. Well. Yeah, tuna. So One of my favorites. Yellowfin tuna. This is tuna. all your uh, custom uh, made. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You've done. Well, you've made all this. Well, uh, no, those, 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 are, yeah. uh, those are pics <laughs> from uh, about uh, Australia. We have seen some uh, shrimps. Uh, here we have uh, the the quiche, yeah. which also part of the uh, Australian mm. culture through uh, the, the British mainly. This uh -huh. is a famous specialty band. What can what you say this? about it? The meat pie is pretty much the shawarma of uh, Australia, right? Like it's. Ah, uh, it's <laughs> compared to the shawarma. Yeah, yeah, here. totally. It's Food called just a meat pie. Meat pie, yeah. That's what this we call it. This is what beetroot. The, those, Specifically for burgers, it's, a, it's, a, be, it's a kind of a beetroot jam that uh, mm. we use in the burgers Yum. and uh, burgers, mm. beef burgers and lamb burgers. Mm. And what is the name of the Arabic? Shmandar. Shmandar. Yeah, exactly. So uh, exquisite because it's a little bit acid, but also sweet. So it's a very good. Mm. Uh, Especially with the lamb burgers, Australian lamb, beetroot, beetroot relish. These things go together. Can we have it with a chicken burger? Sure, why not? Oh, good. Anything. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this, uh, steak yum. <laughs> So this is the emu steak, right? This emu steak, exactly. Uh, emu is uh, is a kind of big bird that doesn't fly, a little bit like the uh, big autruche. bird. Yes, yeah. uh, oh, this we isn't, can see. This isn't beef or lamb. No, no this, this is, is emu. This is the yeah. emu. Okay. A bird. That's and the bird. Yeah. That's a giant bird. <laughs> it's a giant bird. <laughs> <laughs> is it tender? Tariye <laughs> lahamto. What does it taste like? Extremely tender. Um, the taste is, I guess, probably a cross Closer between. Closer to what? Venison and, uh, and, ah. and a poultry bird, like chicken or something like that. But it's okay. very, very juicy. Tender. Very lean, tender. Mm, it's yeah. delicious. Yeah. And this is another specialty. It's kangaroo meat uh, <laughs> that uh, obviously we have a big uh, traditions kangaroo. coming from the uh, Aboriginal. You have so many of them. I think you have no choice but to eat them in Australia. Of course. <laughs> well, I think we're the only country in the world that eats <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> part of our <laughs> maktar. Yeah. Yum, this looks wonderful. And this is a fish? famous fish, also part of your tradition, Ben, which barramundi. is the... Lots of fish, yeah. Australia. Yeah, so many times. But barramundi is something that's become really iconic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with Australian food, we obviously have a lot of good wine, great wine. So you have fantastic wineries, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. bringing the French, uh, let's say, uh, cépage. And uh, cookies. Cookies. This is very special this is one what, also. Oatmeal? It is. No, yeah, this is the Anzac biscuit. So this is Anzac? another one that's become iconic and it was due to the Australian New Zealand Army Corps mm -hmm. um, when they were at the war. Uh, part of their rations was oats, uh, treacle. Okay, um, that's all that sugar. was available. Yeah, so they made the Anzac biscuits. That mm -hmm. was something that they ate when mm -hmm. they were there and it became iconic. Hi, and so and so New Zealand, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cake. Um, uh, also, we have very famous cake. We have to, to, to talk about it. We have the Pavlova. Pavlova, yeah. everybody thinks that it's, uh, it's, Russian. it's Russian. However, no, here there is uh, one more thing to say. that There's a big debate in Australia at the moment that okay. the Pavlova didn't actually come from Australia, that it came from New Zealand. But of course, Australia and New Zealand, we, uh, we like to oh, argue okay. about these but things. But it's definitely the not Russian because most people think it's Russian. It was named after a famous opera singer who was touring Australia at the time. So, ah, so and New it was a Russian who was in Australia and it was named after him. That's right. So this is some of the food that we this do. This is in the your room. own uh, creation yeah, yeah, yeah. here. What is this that we're seeing, Ben? So this here, that's a um, it's a, a fish, a fish naya, basically like a samak naya that we Samke do. Samke naya. Yeah. Yum. And the um, the part on the bottom, that's the skin of the fish that's been made crisp. <gasps> so everything tied okay. together, some orange blossom water. And the one on the left was actually kibbenaya. It was our take on that. Kibbenaya. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh, you're very familiar with our food. Yeah, I try to okay. be. So. <laughs> we would have preferred to taste your creations, but we're, we only have pictures now. But, we, know right. but, we know why. We know why. What we're going to do is yes. that uh, just uh, now, after this afternoon. Uh, uh, this afternoon, from here, we're going to move with uh, with Ben. We are going to move to to Lazy Bee. Okay. And uh, we are going to make Ben discover also. 
لبنان ليزي بي بيتش بالجية لكل بالمنطقة وبعد ما قرر وين بدهم يقضوا نهار على أي بحر exactly. ليزي بي بيكون موجود بن اليوم وراح يخترع إذا بدكم هيك رح يستوحي يستوحي من الأجواء رح فاجئ بعد ما بيعرف بولا بالعربي بن بيعرف بفتكر إنه رايح يتسلى ولكن لا رح شغله هونيك okay. وجمع الجاي زين له رح يبطل <تصفيق> يبطل فما رح نترجم له أصحابه ما رح يترجموا له okay. فنحن نكست ويك رح نكون بي رح تصوروا اليوم رح نصوروا ونكست ويك رح نفرج الابيزود على على الانتي بي مسيو غورمي على الانتي في وي ار جوينغ تو هاف ا لوت اوف فان ذيس افتر نون يو هاف ا وندرفول سربرايز ويتنج فور يو يو هاف ا بيثينغ سوت يا اي دو برينغ ماي سوت كان يو كوك ويز ا بيثينغ سوت اون اوه ليتس سي اي جيس وي فايند اوت اوكي خلص وقتنا او فينا نكمل خلص وقتنا يا ريت كان معنا وقت اكثر وش وي هاد مور تايم ذن ات واز ا بليجر تو ميت يو ثانك يو فور بينغ اور جيست اي هوب يو تيك باك جود ميموريز وذ يو تو استراليا اند وي جيت مور جيست فروم استراليا تو فيزيت اس ان لبنان اف دي اسك يو تو ديسكرايب لبنان بريفلي وات وود يو ساي تو يور فريندز ان استراليا اوه لبنان بريفلي بيوتيفول بيبل يا فور مي ذاتس ذا ثينغ از ستيكينغ اوت ذا موست اند جست ان اميزينغ كولتشر اند ذا فود ديليشس Delicious. Okay. <laughs> and this is a picture from? Yeah, so this is some of the things that we do. The, the area that we are in the restaurant, um, they have a lot of festivals mm. and we do a lot of food, food festivals, market stalls, um, things like that. So it's, uh, it's a very much a, a cultural air, hub. Open air, fun, casual. Absolutely, yeah. This is, this is what Brisbane's all about. Oh. Most uh, Australian food is, is done with local ingredients, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I, we source as much locally as we can. Um, I use my own farmers as much as I can. I have my own uh, pork. goat farmers, lamb mm -hmm. farmer, and organic vegetables direct from farm. So we try to cut out the middle man as much as we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you for being with us. Thank Pleasure you so much for having me. Pleasure to meet you. I wish you a great day at Lazy Bee with Michelle. Thank you very much, Michelle, for your time. And we'll see the result of today's Lazy Bee. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.